Hey guys, okay, so this video is gonna be really fun and I'm super excited and I wanted to make it and I was gonna make it by myself, but instead of making it by myself, I'm gonna have my friends Melanie and Jesse Grace with me to try all of the fun things we are going to be doing. So, protein is a huge factor when it comes to lifting and nutrition, you always need protein and it is very good to get your protein from Whole Foods, but there are protein supplements and like my favorite, powdered protein, ice up here, hands down, favorite ever protein. Um, so there's a lot of different versatile things that you can do with this. So we are going to be making a few treats that is literally just made out of protein. Some have a little extra stuff, but overall healthy so that when you get a sweet tooth, you can eat protein instead of candy or ice cream or chocolate or cheesecake or lemon bars okay i'm i'm getting hungry so anyways um let me know what you guys think down below if you guys try this and it turns out great um or if you guys have any other recipes or any other ideas that you've done i'd love to know and try them because it's really fun to try new things and especially when it's healthy and it just you know gives you a little something new to do every week so um if you guys like this video please give me a big thumbs up. Also, never forget to subscribe. Hit that little button down there. And if you want to be notified when I make an awesome video, click the little bell right here. Ding! And you'll see my videos when they pop up every week. Alright guys, let's get into the video. Super excited, super pumped, get hungry. Here we go. <laughs> We're gonna see. Okay, so we are at Starbucks and the first protein thing that I'm going to be having today is a coffee. So I will show you guys my order. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. What can I get started for you? Yeah, um, can I get a grande iced coffee with um, just two packets of stevia in it and a splash of coconut milk? Anything else? Um, is there any way that you can actually put it in a venti cup, but I want the size of a grande? Yeah, you just want it in a venti cup? Yes, please. With, do you want like extra something? Nope. Just okay, anything else? Room in there. Um, that's it. Alrighty, 320. Thanks. Alright guys, so the coffee comes like this. I always want just extra room. And I get the chocolate isopure protein. It smells like heaven. And in you go. Just one scoop. And I asked for an extra lid and a napkin. Because you're gonna need it. Because I'm about to almost try to kill my truck. And then I shake it up. What's that one bartending YouTube channel? They're like, shake it, make it sexy. You know what? He's like Jamaican or something. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. He might not be Jamaican. But like he always has the girls like just shaking the freaking the mixing tin like insane, insanely. And there we go, guys. We have a chocolate coconut protein. Okay, so we're gonna be making our protein chocolate brownies to start. So we're gonna be using the chocolate iso pure. Iso pure is my favorite protein to use ever. So we're gonna do three quarters of a cup of that. Then we're gonna be using half of a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking soda, quarter cup of coconut sugar, half a cup of PB2 peanut butter, then two eggs whisked together, and then three quarter cups of silk almond milk and then half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So, here we go. Still the liquidy, but we tried adding more peanut butter and chocolate protein, and we will see how it comes out. Today I'm going to use five so it's like thin, thin It is thin protein, No, because it's a little bit in the microwave. in the microwave. <laughs> Wash it in the <laughs> oven. <laughs> Are you going to microwave that? Good call. No, I'm going to wash it in the oven and see how it's coming along. But you don't want them to be too thick, otherwise they won't. Do I look like mashed material yet? <laughs> okay, so you're supposed to cook this for 20 to 25 minutes, but since we used IsoPure and since it's very liquidy, I'm going to see, check it at 15 minutes and see how, how it goes. Okay, so next we're going to make vanilla protein ice cream. 
and none of us have made vanilla protein ice cream ever this way. So what we have here is a quarter cup of silk almond milk, 40 calories, zero sugar. And then I have a scoop of the vanilla isopure protein powder and two pre-frozen bananas. I just put them in a Ziploc freezer bag last night. They're perfect. And then after we make it, we're gonna fold in some sugar-free Hershey's. All right, so now it is blended into an ice creamy consistency. So I'm just going to pour this into, oh, it looks so good, to our bowl. Oh, good. Oh my God, I'm so impressed right now with us. <laughs> I think that was the worst. Go team! Okay, they did record. It's been recorded. Oh, okay, hi. <laughs> Our chocolate chips and fold them in Ooh. a good amount of chocolate chips. I would say actually a lot more chocolate chips than that. And you're just gonna gently mix them in, and then we're gonna pop this in the freezer and let it set more. So, and we're gonna start our protein pancakes that we will top with some ice cream. I don't know, I'm eating my pancakes with ice cream. Awesome view. Love ice cream. <laughs> Everything with ice cream because there's clearly a lot. It's summer, it's always time for ice cream. Alright, so next we're going to be making apple pie protein pancakes with Isopure's brand new flavor. It smells so freaking good. Apple pie, guys. Low carb. I'm super stoked to try it. It smells amazing. So, what we're going to use is we're going to have a two tablespoons of silk almond milk, and then two eggs. We have half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. We have one scoop of the apple pie protein, a quarter cup of kurkuma powder. Don't judge, I don't know if I'm saying this right. But I found this at the grocery store and it is a plant-based sweetener and I thought, why not? It's vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, air-free, calorie-free, everything. Then we're gonna do a eighth of cinnamon. Here we go. It's like a bomb.com. Yeah. It smells really good too. It smells very, Show very again. spicy. Very spicy. Oh, that's the consistency you want, like a thick but yet runny consistency. So I'm preheating my non-stick skillet to literally 275 because it gets way too hot, way too fast. And since it's so non-stick, I'm using non-stick coconut oil. Spray it lightly on. <coughs> Hello. <clears throat> and now we're going to pour and make baby little pancakes. <laughs> Our protein apple pie pancakes. So we have one with sliced almonds. One with more sugar-free Hershey Kisses. I like little kisses. And then just one plain. We are going to use sugar-free syrup. This is my all-time favorite tasting sugar-free syrup. And here we go. See how everything tastes. So nervous, guys. Are you nervous? I don't know ever cook for people. <laughs> <laughs> I personally would eat this for breakfast. Would you? Would you? Yay! Okay. First one's away. First one's away. Okay, so next we have our chocolate protein brownie. And topped, we have our vanilla protein banana with chocolate chip protein ice cream. And it looks Well, 
and I will definitely recommend you guys trying the pancakes. They're really good. The ice cream would have been a lot better if we could have let it set overnight. I probably should have made the ice cream last night and then we would have real ice cream because it did taste really good, the banana, the vanilla, and the chocolate chips. But the brownies were a giant bust. But um, like I told you, there is a lot of different things that you can do with your protein. Um, one of my favorite things to do, especially when I'm cold or I'm not feeling too great and I want to drink something warm and I want something sweet, is I will take half a scoop of the chocolate iso here and then half a scoop of the salted caramel iso here, salted vanilla caramel, and I will mix those together and then I grab a... Um, like a, a mug, fill it up with water, put it in the microwave for about 30 to 40 seconds, make sure it's warm. It's not boiling hot water, but it's warm, and then I add the protein to it, mix it up, and it is protein hot cocoa. So we got that, we got our Starbucks, we got our pancakes, that's really good. And then another thing that you guys can also do is just take a scoop of whatever flavor protein you want, and you just add in a little bowl, a little water bit by bit until you get the right consistency, and that actually becomes icy and it is really good. You can dip your rice cakes in it, you can get your fruit, you can get really anything. Like, um, I'm really excited to try the uh, apple pie flavor. So, hopefully you guys um, got a little bit of idea and inspiration from this video. If you guys like it, again, please give me a big thumbs up. Let me know how it goes down below and if you guys have any other recipes that you think I should try. All right, you guys, I will see you next week. Bye.